And a royal insider, Lady Colin Campbell, has revealed that it was actually Princess Anne who made those comments about Archie's skin tone. They were, of course, a source of great controversy in Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview. But this was a misunderstanding. Tell us. Yeah, I watched this. It's like 37 minutes that she sort of talks on her podcast. She doesn't actually talk about... Um, skin tone. Funny enough, she said the comments weren't reference to that. They were to do with a clash of culture. But she does seem to point the finger very firmly at Princess Anne. We must stress there's been no comment back from Princess Anne, where she was basically saying that they, the two women certainly didn't get on. She saw her as an imposter and uh, um, as somebody who's really um, leading the Harry and Mary dance. So it was uh, quite extraordinary. But again, there's been no reaction from Princess Anne whatsoever. Well, Jobo, in that, uh, the fact-checking continues after the whole Oprah interview. Yeah. Uh, and there's quite a few now that have proven to have not been correct. And one of them is that claim uh, that Meghan made to Oprah when they were in the chook pen, that they got married three days before their wedding. But now the Archbishop of Canterbury, he, he's weighed in on that pretty firmly, hasn't he? Well, he has. I mean, the fact is, um, the Archbishop of Canterbury, he's, he's, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. I mean, I've met him a few times. And the fact that he had spoken to the Queen this week and then the, a few moments later this came out and he said he clearly uh, the, he did not uh, falsely sign the, the, the marriage certificate. If he'd done so, it would have been illegal and they married on the Saturday, you know, the actual public, the actual, for the, the, the proper wedding and that that's what he's prepared to say about it. Now, it does call into question what on earth Harry and Meghan were talking about. It may be their truth that that was their... Um, that was their marriage. But you can't then bring in the Archbishop of Canterbury and make out him to be somebody who's committed a felony. So exactly. I, I think that they really did catch themselves, uh, shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah. And, you know, it does call into question why Oprah didn't ask a few yeah. more questions, like, you know, what, what's the date on the certificate would have been a good one. Yeah, and it can't be their truth. It's either the truth it's a lie. or yes. it's not the truth. <laughs> it's not a variable. Sure. It's not a, it, it, let's get it right here. It's not true. Yeah. It, they were like, I mean, yeah, I believe the Archbishop of Canterbury but yeah. what on earth Harry and Meghan were talking about? I mean, were there a certain amount of revelations they had to make? Because it doesn't make any sense to even come up with this as a nonsensical yeah. story. He said it was between the three of us. You know, you have to have two witnesses for it to be legal anyway. I know. It was very strange. Do you think, just quickly back on the Lady Colin Campbell, <laughs> uh, do you reckon yeah. she, they've deliberately put this out um, to say it was mm. Anne, because a lot of people thought it might be Charles to get the heat off him, or is that too conspiratorial? <laughs> You've been reading those books again. Oh, I, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I just wondered. I, I, I mean, there have been a lot of people talking about Charles, yeah. and then, oh, and then we had all immediately we had the, the story about them bringing in a diversity czar at the palace, which is still ongoing. Which is, uh, but the, the reality is, I, I look. I think that at the moment there's only about five members of the royal family it could be. So I think <laughs> the, the fact that they've come out with this, she's come out with this. I mean, it hasn't been verified, and nobody's commented on it. But it, it seemed that she. He had quite a lot okay. of detail, right. um, so perhaps, uh, perhaps that is the case. But okay. yeah. no, I don't think it was. A, I'm not a great conspiracy theorist. I must oh, be okay, All right, Jomo. Jomo. I'm with you on that one. Though. <laughs> yeah. I think Thank they're you. siphoning it. To, there you go. <laughs> All right, Jomo. Thank you.